Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl Super League final. We've got myself somehow in the final yet again for the fourth time in a row. Unbelievably brilliant, what can I say, I'm fantastic. Up against Diomed who, you know, finished second in the Season 2 finals and has been absolutely dominant throughout this tournament. Absolutely glorious with, the, with his Orc team here, he's been super strong. Guard Biggins. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, my best to play properly here. So I'm going to take my leave of the uh, booth and Elliot and Fainier can take over. So I shall leave you with those guys and re really try my best to concentrate. Choose. All right, the fans of Blood Bowl, here we are. The final of the Super League with Jimmy Fantastic again in the final. What a surprise and an ex absolutely unexpected, Elliot. I'm completely unexpected. That anybody would still be playing this game at this point is outrageous. Yes, yes. And, uh, well, it seems uh, all the, uh, you know, engagement questions are all the rights. I'm not going to dedicate this game to any country. I'm asking you, Big Words, in YouTube, Ooh. who should be the next country to where their game dedicated. Ooh. And that, there will be some rules to that. I won't take any country. Don't try crazy stuff. Decent countries only. And Jimmy wins the toss. Used to receive. Probably with a dream of uh, getting uh, rid of some orcs. Hmm. And this is it. This is the game that has been uh, waiting to be played since the Big Bang started 30 point billion years ago. Two coach names that will down into legend. 37A, A, B, E, 57, A, A, D, 7, D, 9, 6, A, versus 6, 1, 4, C, 9, A, O, 8, 5, 6, 4, 4, 1, 8, D, A. I mean, who can't forget these names? You know, honestly, I quite like 614C9 A08564411D8. I fucked it up. D8 for this. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yes, yes, yes. He has a very rough uh, way to the final, having to play the semi final yeah. twice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not like Jimmy, that, that like 738ABE578AD7D968, which didn't even no. have to play the whole semi final. No, yeah, outrageous seeds, outrageous. Ladonia, Ladonia, GG. Come on, guys, that, for God's sake. People are going to read this when they watch the video on YouTube. Decent human beings will read this. Oh, I wouldn't call YouTube viewers decent human beings. Well, compared with the Twitch viewers. Oh, okay, okay, that's a good point. And these are the pink dice that the Jimmy is using. Not the absolutely beautiful dice that Andy Labour was using the other day. I think those dice were overrated. I like the normal dice. There you go, a common man, Elliot, doesn't need anything spectacular. First block, not double skulls. That's a big change for uh, Jimmy. Very nice uh, kick. That yeah. allows uh, Mr. Throw reach the ball. Yeah. Something that usually doesn't happen. And here we go, getting ready for the trench warfare that is Orcs versus Orcs. Okay, this is a... Oh my god, talking about risky moves. But... Will have uh, ended with much, much worse. Mm -hmm. 
Un Are you having your tea already, Elliot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can uh, I can notice it. Huh. Oh, oh no, I I already, I already finished. I, I I already ate it. Quite a nice blitz. Gets all the three linos out on a three plus dodge if he wants them. Yep. Hello, Nache1982. Yes, all the league games are Orcs versus Orcs. I mean, it was a very good option to make a team. Orcs is, has always been a very strong team in Blood Bowl and uh, in a low TV format, and I call low TV under uh, 1600. They, pay, they work perfectly. And they were tier two for this fight, so they even got extra skulls compared to. There you go, tier mm. two. I mean, what the hell? Mm. Who who decided that they were tier two? Some guy who took orcs, I think. Oh yeah. And oh, all, all the dodges three. in the oh. world, all the dodges in the world, orc supremacy. I know the orc should be Diomed because he has more orcs. Jimmy has a troll, so is, uh, oh. there is less orcs. <laughs> there is true, less orcs there. <laughs> Diomed has more orcs. And they are faster because they are red. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, so that's it. I mean, we can see Jimmy's taken some strength skulls to try and. You know, make his players faster, but but even so, it's, it's probably not going to do the job. Oh, there you go. Three dice. Good. Beautiful result. No armor work or anything. And so ends the turn. It's like both teams uh, are a mirror of each other. The positioning, uh, if you check it, there is, you know, two guard uh, big guns for each one at the side of the, uh, the team. Mm. The red, blue, and the blue ones. And who's going to break first? And without who, I mean, who's going to break armor first and have a chance to get on it? Diome has an apple. Which could be very useful or useless. Hmm. Yeah, no apple for Jimmy, yeah. No apple for Jimmy, no. He chose that uh, the troll instead of that. Let's see if the gamble uh, pays off. Yes, yes. I mean, this tournament was in absolutely majestic place by uh, Mr. Throw, proving that Mr. Throw is a mastermind of the game. Every single time there has been a Mr. Throw disaster, it ended being for an attack for the team that suffered the disaster. Not dead. I guess he'll just have to dodge these orcs out. It seems he's not going to try and fight with all the guard that Jimmy's put in. But he can cover the uh, the middle before he makes the dodges anyway. So it seems that that was he decided, and he finally rolls a two. Ooh! Oh! 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 Outrageous! Oh my god! Can't apple that, surely. That is it's a it's a lino. Uh, no. Oh! Oh! Is no no no! It's a book. Is it? <laughs> Isn't it a bl blitzer? Is it a blitzer without the skills? 
I think so. I think it's a rookie blitzer. He goes for yes, the apple and gets it. Wow. 37.5%. Oh my god, that Oof. was a long throw. Yes. Now, every single cast that uh, Jimmy managed to make will stay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's aiming for the mighty blow lad. Well, it was a blitzer because his close has three close. Meanwhile, the big guns, the, the close have two close. Clearly, uh, very well defined in the in the game. Also, if oh, you use oh, the, 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 the circles under the figures. Glorious. No, I won't well, give Kevin, in I, I can't until say anything I'm about victorious. that. I never played uh, no a And I will defend. Uh, so, okay. I will defend. That one too, yes. Yes, that one too, yes. What a dice, Lord. Advantage for Jimmy now. Two players up. Still Huge not advantage. the end of the world for uh, Diomed, because after all, uh, Jimmy has to invest uh, players protecting the ball. Yeah. But, uh, Looking very likely. Look, look like a very strong you know, chance of Jimmy scoring. You'd think now. You know, all this uh, Kevlan talking about the miniatures of the Orbs and Gage Wars is just the prequel to him st talking about which hero clicks he <laughs> uses instead of <laughs> the Orcs. I know you, Kevlan, I know you. And that's the Mighty Blow gone as well, so no no Mighty Blow Blitzers for DMN now. Oh, going Ooh. with the Frenzy Lad. Or down. And now we are in the situation where Diomed needs something to happen. I'm sad that Jimmy G didn't, uh, couldn't make it to be here, but mm. his honor, I put on the washing machine. Oh. You know, that's a reminder of anyone has been on his streams. He loves his washing machine during the streams. I assume there are no clothes in it. It's just spinning around uh, in honor of Dewey. Hmm. I played Chivalry last night for the first time. Oh, it was good. Really fun. Oh yeah, yeah, it's absolutely bombastic game. Mm. I was really impressed how like uh, how like smooth and like intuitive the controls were. Right, I, like I played a bit of Mordhau and Might Mountain Blade and that kind of thing. But, but yeah, I thought she was probably the best one. Yeah, when the the servers are working properly, there is such a smooth experience. Hmm. It doesn't matter if it's easy or difficult, Polar. What it matters is if it's fun or not. Taking the block there, armor break, nothing. No, no armor break, no anything. What is Jimmy aiming for? I mean, he's done for, is they start to planning to do some uh, progression. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, I, 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 I just got, I got off Twitch, uh, Steve, um, Famer told me it was free on Twitch, so I just... 
it was a first uh, was free on uh, in Twitch with Amazon Prime, and then they put it for free on uh, the Epic Store. Yeah. Well, yeah, interesting that we like going over the sideline. Maybe, Maybe there's a chance for DMA well, to defend. It's you know against. He the can uh, more or less move back more than a few of his uh, players. This is tough for freeing a few players, but. Uh, Also very good uh, by Jimmy isolating the two big guns uh, yeah. without uh, without guard. Yeah. So if they like. get up, they are gonna be destroyed. Mm -hmm. He's basically down to seven players <laughs> for, for the next couple of turns with those big ones trapped. The KO was the mighty blow blitzer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the KO was the mighty blow uh, blitzer, so that makes things a little harder. Oh, yeah. I think this time is time for Diomed to try to reposition his, uh, his orcs, maybe blitz. The big gun uh, with guard or the blitzer with guard. No inducements. All of both teams have nearly the same uh, TV. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Interesting. Here we go. Lockless block with the Lino works. And now he oh, has the blitz. Too. But yeah. I think he, he used the wrong uh, orc. Yeah. I think he was planning to use the, the frenzy orc for that yeah. uh, hit. Maybe. I wonder if he'll blitz the big one on the floor now into the frenzy to, to free it from where it's trapped. I mean, maybe do was getting it surfed, but it'd be a good way to get it back into the fight. I uh, know, goes to the other one. And then he gets a uh, 2D into. Oh, he has to reroll it, yes, because. Yeah. There was a lot of guard waiting for uh, the, the mm -hmm. Frenzy Orc. Oh, it's the dodge. Oh, glorious uh, 4 plus dodge. Now the question where do you move that Orc? I think just one square up. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, yeah. It's still surfable, but it will probably take up holes and things. So. Okay, it looks like he's going back to the middle anyway. Makes sense. Yeah, he's gonna see what happens with his uh, probably 3D. First the two there, oh beautiful uh, use of guard. Mm. Oh, a powder will have opened so many options mm. for uh, Jimmy. Now depends on this 3D. Ooh, the third dice again saves the day. I remember that four plus end of the day is a 50%. So it's as surprising when it works as in surprising when it doesn't work. 
is the same mm -hmm. feeling. And now I'm guessing, oh, going for, has to reroll. And now he has, he has this dodge here that could give him a very nice one that he eats. Just by being in the ground makes things a little more difficult for the orcs to come uh, through the back of uh, Jimmy's. So that's fine. It's yes, yes, okay, Pablar. And whoever wins this will get a ticket for the World Cup for being the runner up of the Super uh, League because the winner, the undisputed winner, is Dio. Everybody knows that Dio has never lost a game of Blood Bowl, so he wins by default any single competition. Oh, makes sense. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, Jimmy offered him an invite, he sent Jimmy a, a 400-page document with every single role in every single game and the result of every single uh, dice. Hmm. That ended with him winning the... Oh. So as a favor, as a favor for the common players, you know, uh, he refused to play. So yeah, whoever wins this, instant full qualification for the World Cup, so... In theory, shouldn't need to play any more Blood Bowl until the World Cup. And that's, that's the true reward. Except, if Jimmy becomes a commentator, then he won't take the ticket, right? So, so then well, what if he, if he becomes a commentator, uh, yeah, there is an interesting thing because I think it would be good having you know a member of the competitor team actually play in the competition. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think Jimmy wants to, right? I think he unless he maybe he'll change his mind, but Imagine the commentator winning the tournament, you know, yes, oh, winning the game controversial. and uh, controversial, you know, but maximum money. Uh -huh. yeah, true, true, true. No, dear Red, having to roll some dice here, and uh, he's, you know, he's recognizing that. Good. Okay, this is turn six for Jimmy. He needs to move. Good, he moved a player. Maybe not in the way who I expect him, but... Uh, and here comes the chain. Oh my God, this is a complicated chain. So much guard. Here comes the blitz, blockless blitz. And here comes Mr. Throw with his uh, legendary movement five. Exactly the same as a big gun. Uh -huh. You know, just saying, just saying. I mean, you might as well get the big guns to carry the ball, really. 
It's a four plus instead of a three plus to pick yeah. up the ball after all, you know? What was the difference? What's the difference? Easy. Easy. Oh, mm. oh, oh, oh that was a good. good that was the troll has been very well behaved this time. No stupids yet. The three plus dodge. Well, with the rule set, you could make a movement seven. Uh, AG for a uh, big gun with block and uh, sure hands. Uh huh, uh huh. What a ball carrier. What a ball carrier. Hmm. I thought he'd feel the. Oh no, he still can't feel it. So. Never mind. Oh, he feels it's bigger now. Yeah, that makes sense. Raise the big gun so he can. Uh... Mm. Kind of has to blitz the front blitzer, I think. Yeah, I think the front blitzer has to get punched in yeah. the face. Because he's the only piece uh, of Jimmy's that can score uh... next turn. Get him with an instant full pow. Ooh. Now you pass him to the side, so he's a square know. further away, or up, so you can, yeah. uh, there you go, isolate yeah. him. And now now the ball base? Ball yes. Base, <laughs> ball base, line over versus, uh, line over versus uh, Mr. Throw, same uh, base, uh, baseline stats, except the Lino has more uh, armor. Yeah. It's a big dodge to fail. It's a good, good one for Jimmy that he didn't make it. All right, this is a. I mean. With the Blitzer guy, Blitzer is a very easy blitz to get the, the ball carrier free. And has block, but with the big gun, you know, you have the advantage of a... Uh, there you go. Having an easier uh, positioning. If I like that big gun in that, uh, well, it's turn seven for uh, the Omen next turn. Well, the mentor, that's the classic. That's the classic uh, Jim uh, rolls. But Jim can't complain about the rolls. He got uh, no. KO and, uh, mm -hmm. but, and the Apple use. Another glorious dodge that allows him to give in 2D. 
and another 2D to follow up oh, to shit. the big gun you can be mine. with a troll which works oh my god the dice storm in the screen KO troll uh, cost justified for the tournament great choice of Jimmy making a orc team with a troll he always knew oh Singolo thanks a lot uh, for the raid Singolo, absolutely a legend of the game. And I hope, I hope today nobody stole your dice, uh, Singolo. One could say that Jimmy Morales has managed to do it to score. Yep, three plus four plus dodge from the line now. I think for the one D. Um, but even if he gets it, it's... Jimmy will still have a pretty good score chance. Exclamation mark! Glass, perhaps. I can do the shout out. Oh, he's going for the four plus uh, six plus. Oh no, no the surf, the surf. The ah. And the stun, double one in the stun. <laughs> and I think but turn eight. Jimmy is going to be able to score. I don't know if you, you guys uh, can see the play, but yeah, there is a very easy play for Jimmy to score. Well, if he doesn't, let me if, if he doesn't forget some of the scoring, of course. Let, let me consult the Blood Bowl supercomputer and see what it says. Yeah, maybe he's, uh, he could aim for a... That was there, a, a block, trying to get rid of a miracle uh, injury, but there is way too many variables. And there you go, Mr. Throw does it again. Jimmy was able to see the, the play to score with involved for moving Mr. Throw ahead. Genius of the game. That's the, the kind of uh, quality play you expect from 738ABE578D7D968. I always knew he had it in him. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's true. Uh, the vomit can cause a turnover. Or can it? No. No, well, in the rules it can't. In Blood Bowl Three, who knows? Ah, uh, okay. So, <laughs> did we get the KO? But did Kiamed's KO come back? Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, yes, both of them did. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Diomed gets a full. Instant full team for the second half. Mm -hmm. Domit cannot cost an over, but can injure the troll. Okay, thanks for the the glue. I, I I think I haven't seen the much vomit in the in the game. Really? Well, I love vomiting. Especially when I'm playing Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> I was going to add that uh, <laughs> tonight there's going to be a lot of it in, the, in Edinburgh because uh, <laughs> it's the Taylor Swift uh, second oh. night here. <laughs> 
And there's going to be a lot of uh, young ladies overwhelmed with uh, feelings later tonight. Uh -huh. Which I spend in the house because, uh, you know, I'm after all, I'm a 29 year old, I'm 46 yes. years old. Yeah. Well, quick he snap. Snap. Maybe he can one turn. I mean, how? That was bad, wasn't it? I should have set up one line further back so that um, he could just base everybody, right? The way I set up is if you got a riot or timeout, as it's called now, he could just go five and base people. So that was a bit of shit of me, but never mind. I thought I played quite well and obviously got a bit of luck that half. Very nice. There you go. I, I don't think he should have set up one square further back. Do you don't think so? No. Yes, yes, uh, Kjolan, uh, she's playing in Murrayfield. Sold out. The, I think it's three nights. 300 uh, pounds per ticket. Seems to be the price. Woof. Oh, it's, uh, it's even more impressive because seems that in the States, the tickets are so expensive, so much more expensive, that it's cheaper to fly to Scotland to watch the gig huh, huh. and spend the weekend here than buy a ticket for a Taylor in the States. There are not that many people in Scotland. They, they, they have to bring some uh, fans from uh, abroad. I'm not a, I am not a Swifty, but I don't uh, mind uh, her at all. She, as far as I know, uh, never has bothered me doing anything, so it's fine by me. The last is a uh, lover, good. Big pop star. There is always been one, and there will be always be one. I can tell you that the Swifties are more, uh, there's going to be many more cocktails tonight than pints. Oh, the mentor. You would be surprised. Blink. And look at that uh, kick there. Oh, this is... This is oh. uh, absolute, absolutely... He can move five players. End the YouTube video. Yes, uh, thanks for the follow. Leave your uh, your comments about uh, what's your favorite uh, Taylor Swift uh, song. And uh, yeah, okay. Glad to be here with you, Elliot. We'll see you uh, next time. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Just play some chivalry. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, I plan to start uh, to stream a little later. No. Hmm. The bigger under the ball, I was not expecting. But, yeah, we were talking already about how good the big and ball carrier is. There you go. Ooh, if we if we GFI fail here, it's uh, oh it wasn't GFI. Never mind. <laughs> oh no, it was a GFI. It was this goddamn guard, this, this goddamn log. <laughs> so now the if the ball scatters, you know, giving a the over yep. the ball. Yep. He has a very nice. Uh, open a space mm -hmm. in the right side of the pitch. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. exactly what happened, and Mr. Throw gets the ball. The only problem is, 
if we take that space, then there's like those two big ones over on the left. You know, maybe we'll end up scoring early is, is my worry. But, you know, better to score early than, than not to score at all. But it looks like we're not anyway. We're just going back to the middle. Fair enough. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Eh, Poglar, I'll go farther and I'll say that could be a movement seven eh, eh, big gun. It's just a blitzer. Mm. Think big, Poglar, think big. Turn. Oh! Ooh, Oof. Close. Big, big scare. And now he has 2D on the troll with one of the big guns. Exactly, Christopher, exactly. Oh, double pass. Push, double push, he has to... Ah, I'm surprised, to be honest. That we well, that way he it. can uh, free the big gun to offer some covering yeah. to the thin blue line <laughs> of uh, orcs on the side. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the mentor, what a beautiful story. I'm pretty sure that everybody at the store started clapping after that. Oh! Two touchdowns, a Kaz and an MVP. Oh yeah, I saw that too, B. That's pretty funny. Um, Guardian getting a hat trick, Jesus. I mean, it's really funny, <laughs> unless you are the, the guy playing <laughs> yes. versus, mm -hmm. against the uh -huh. Guardian hat trick. And everybody will remember you for that. Uh -huh. It was not Sigurd's Eggs, who is now the second most famous Tomb Guardian that ever was. It was Lionel Mummy. And now here we are, turn 10. Still lots of time for uh, Diome to try to score. There is, but it's going to be tough. 11 Orcs for Jimmy still on the pitch. Yeah, Jimmy has a very well uh, positioned uh, bunch of lads there. Uh-huh. And there is a blitzer with guard that is, you know, on the floor right now for Jimmy. But it's in a complicated square because Diomed has to pay attention to him. Yep. Three nil, all bigger touchdowns. Outrageous. Lay <laughs> Yeah. And it's L. Liot Johnson, the returned Primark of the Dark Dicers. And I'm so glad I'm not playing this game of Blue Bowl. 
So complicated, you know, with all the guards, all the permutations and all that. Uh, and block, two dice block, nothing, two dice block, nothing, two dice block, something happens, I lost the game. Meanwhile, if it was a gnomes, uh, Elliot, you will be already 5 nil up. Oh, of course, of course. Best team in the game. All right, I'll be back in a second. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I better provide some enthusiasm. Uh, uh, no, nah, I can't bother. This is going to be really tough for Diamond. I think this is, you know, right now Jimmy's a big favourite. I mean, obviously, we're one a lot, but really tough here, I think. He's going to he's gonna have to get up with a mighty blow and get some orcs off the pitch. Otherwise, we're going nowhere, I don't think. Absolutely nowhere. Well, or maybe get a look at the troll, you know. Maybe he jams in out of desperation at some point and the troll does some bad stuff. Uh, I personally quite like uh, the Badger, which is, you know, controversial. Obviously, Goose has lots of good memes out there. But, uh, but yeah, I, I do prefer the Badger, I think. Yeah. Honk. Yeah, that's a, an example of a Goose meme. You know, we, we, don't, we don't have a honk for Badgers because Badgers don't honk. In fact... You know, we don't even know what sound badgers do make. But whatever it is, it's probably not as funny as honk. You know, goose really have the market cornered in terms of humorous, you know, sound effects. The Badger had that song many years ago, but since then the market has been all Goose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Goose uh, dominated the meme market. Yep. They even got their own uh, video game, for God's sake. Oh, really? There is the Goose uh, game, yeah, the one that you have oh. to annoy people, bother them, and honk around. Oh, that sounds like a good game. Is the untitled Goose Game. Oh, that sounds familiar. You made the trying. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, first no. uh, stupid of the game. Yep. Not the end of the war. Hmm, there's quite a lot of orcs over on the left there. I'm a little bit surprised he's sort of going that heavy there. I thought we'd be having at least one more come over to the right. I feel yeah. like Demon might try and push this right.
Oh, ball base with guard. Oh, oh. That, uh, that, that's an argument for the instant win. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Moral victory for uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Doesn't matter what happens now. Yeah, no matter. He was the first one on base in the ball with guard. You know, that, that goes down history. Uh huh. There you go, Steve. Those badges from the song, all of them are died from all age. Oh. Because the song was around nearly 20 years ago. Holy shit. I can see 2008 in a... in YouTube. So 16 years ago. Ooh. Oh, long lives a bad year. Fourteen years. Nope. The maximum Good life patches. expectancy is about fourteen years. So that's it. That's it. And those are already adult badgers, so they were. Uh, uh, yeah, all of them died. Meanwhile, the untitled uh, Goose Game still going strong. Yeah, but uh, Christopher, come on, be honest. The budget budget video with only one or two budgets, that will be sad. Some nice pows. But, uh, well, that gives him another two dice on the... Big uh, and on, a, on the on the mighty blow piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, one in nine. He has to roll it. Oh, gets a pow. And I'll so much batsman for a uh, uh, Diomed there. This ties down even more uh, pieces mm -hmm. for uh, Jimmy. And he doesn't do the 1D on the top uh, left. Now Jimmy doing the calculations, trying to free the, some players to move them to the right of the pitch. Difficult uh, situation for Jimmy here, trying to find 2D.
That's a big, big investment there. He moves the Blitzer to activate the troll. Yeah. I do not think that's the play. Looks like Jimmy agrees. Oh, beautiful pow. Oh my god. Oh, oh my wow. god. Equity All the shift. Oh zero. my god. Equity slide going mental. Oh my god. And now runs the four plus. This is, this is a festival. That was a big, big, big cast for a uh, yeah. Oh, Jimmy there. Yeah, yeah, big one there, and uh, I mean, statistically talking by stats, but just by numbers, some of these are bound to happen with the amount of rolls that are happening. But wow, that was a really juicy piece to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, and now Dio Man needs some lucky rolls. Oh, yeah. Because, Elliot, is this really you, or is this just an AI that just says, oh, yeah, aha, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's my new version of the Jimmy some, AI. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm playing Goose Game. What, really? No. <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> I don't know, like, it's just, you know, a big mess. <laughs> it's It's been a big mess for a while. <laughs> Dear man's in trouble. Like, I wonder if he even hand off to the Blitzer here. Maybe he is, I think he is. Handing off to the Mighty Blow Blitzer. And potatoing. Well, not really potato, it's slightly potato. Yep. Animosity! Oh, has to be the animosity. Well, I say yes, we all. I guess you could try and get away with it. It's horrible. When, the way. when they horrible. said the orcs were getting a new skill, nobody <laughs> was expecting <laughs> this one. They made biggins better so that they could make Mister Throw worse. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, eats it for. This is a extremely complicated situation now for uh, Diomed. I mean, he needs to dodge. No, he doesn't dodge the the frenzy player. No, I mean, there's no one that can really like the the Jimmy's orcs around the back are tied up, aren't they? So he's just kind of hoping to tie them up. I mean, up, I guess. Jimmy has a four plus with a reroll. To, yeah. to hit the ball instantly. Yeah, but I mean, if, if we're dear med, like we're taking that, you know, 25% for Jimmy to take out. Like, Jimmy, there's no way that Jimmy will take that dodge. And, and if we're if we're dear med, we're, we're extremely happy for him to do that. Because we are so, so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and I say he won't med. take it. If he can get things safe on first, maybe he will. There's a kind of a blitz to nothing in a way. 
I remember Jimmy saying, uh, yeah. more plus to, to do the ball, I will take that anytime, more than <laughs> once in this stream. So we'll see if Jimmy is a man of his word. Not today. Not today. Absolutely uh, shilling, sell out, Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Actually, you will uh, be able to see tomorrow in a one world, oh. one blood ball. Oh, you're watching this yeah. live. Well, he's going to be with uh, Mr. Page, Purple Chest, Andy Davo, and himself talking about Blood Bowl 3. And the time that when uh, Purple Chest was acting with Sir Ian McKellen. Mm. I can't imagine that will come up. I mean, it's very difficult for that subject to come up, you know. Who, who yeah. knows? It will be extremely difficult if this, anyone makes any comment about that. Yeah. But it could happen, it could happen. Maybe, maybe. Oh, stupid into big and handoff. I'm here for it. Oh, oh yes, yes, big and handoff. Let's go. Oh, tragedy. <laughs> They're moving fine. They're good ball carriers. We've seen one big and try to catch the ball already this game. Will yes, we see another yes, big and try to catch the ball? Again, four plus with a reroll. Uh huh, uh huh. And now uh, comes the. Oh, there you go. Double base in the ball. Who would. Uh, Wait, Mr. Who Togan like just pass. Easy five plus pass. Yeah, I prefer coming with the big ones. It's better. Than if you. I ever got a gig with uh, Siri and uh, it was, it wouldn't be me talking about it. He will be the one talking ah, about ah. it. And he's in with me. Well, it's still on. It's still on. And he will probably be talking to a judge about it, unfortunately. <laughs> but there is a chance for uh, Diomed here, yes. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't tag that guy. Okay, freeze the big. Oh, he's going to blitz him. And. The big one. So he's gonna blitz with him and hand off to the uh, mighty blow blitzer. I'm I'm passing to the I'm passing to the big un. I'm just gonna pass to the big un. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not the result that uh, he wanted. I guess he's just gonna dodge then and keep it on Mister Throw. But nah. The thing is, I like giving it to the big one because he's strength four as well. Like, he's going to get hunted down by the blitzers, right? So if it's strength four, it's just, like, a little bit easier to, you know, a bit harder to knock him down. Red dice. In this economy? Oh, <laughs> bad. That allows him to free the yep. Mr. Throw to move five squares towards glory. Big, big use of the time bank uh, by both uh, coaches. Yes, that the stupid role. Yeah. Which, if this goes to overtime, could have uh, a massive impact. 
What what dodge do? What, what there dodge is no dodge. Place? No. There no. is no dodge. I don't understand. Oof. Oof. I mean, unless you say it doesn't work because we just get hunted by the blitzers, which is true. But Jimmy uh, has a... some options here. Uh, no, oh, there you go, there you go. He's going to need to do some work there. But yeah, the, the guard and the frenzy blitzer. I think they have a chance to hit the ball. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, well, it's, I it's mean... a super... It's a super complicated situation for uh, Diomed. Jimmy has uh, oh, yeah. two, three pluses to get to the on the ball. Yep. But honestly, from like two turns ago, I think we take this, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you have to we take got... what you can take. And at yep. least the ball is ahead. He has players around, so. I mean, it's brutal at least, you know, two, three plus to get a blitz with Frenzy on the ball. Mm -hmm. With multiple people as well, so. Pretty pretty high odds, but yeah, we're like 25% chance of failure or something, if you count pushes and stuff as well. I think Jimmy but just imagine if, the, if this was a big one and not Mr. Throw. <laughs> Exactly. Would you be. Know, the, the, the situation will be. Oh my God! Ooh. There are ways to. Ooh. Oh. Trying to add another layer of safety. Mm. Oh. Going to uh, try and help Mr. Throw towards the end zone. Very, uh, very yes. uh, good of him. Not what I would put the guard blitzer one square down. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's where Jimmy is noticing it. Yeah, because I think he could. Yeah, yeah, there you go. No, no, where he is now, but one square down because if the frenzy blitzer uh, yeah. hits him, you know, you have a guarantee that you'll be double covered. There you go. Oh, right. The Six off. plus. Gets the bow. In some full bow. He comes the ball. Does the everything works. What a time to be alive in uh, Darlington tonight. Well, is Mr. Mr. Zoe still in range, isn't it? So. We do have a potential score with uh, and the troll miss is big. Potential score with Mr. Throw if we get a good scatter off the. Bit of yes, down right good now as we're speaking, uh, Diomed has two D on the ball. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. So now Jimmy is too risky. Well, maybe the lino, the lino, the dodging with the lino doesn't yeah, change yeah. the yeah. things much. But then that the, because the blitzer is there anyway, so big roll, big roll in Darlington Square. The British Embassy in Moscow is watching the game, you know, very attentively. This is a big, big event, international level gaming. Mm, Uphall, yeah, Uphall is good. It's good. It's good because they're both down uh, also works mm. for him. Yeah, anything except the skull. Maybe even with reroll, maybe even with reroll actually. I don't know. Like rerolling a skull, obviously. No, maybe not. Rerolling the red dice could be a little too rowdy. Maybe. I think you have to do it. I, I, I He surely does the block. 
But with 75% to clear. Wow, but it takes a player, I guess. Mm, yeah. Mm, okay, okay, okay. It's not completely straightforward, actually. I mean, if he falls to the ground, that they freeze the blitzer. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, if he doesn't, he needs to roll with a blockless block to free the blitzer. So I think the odds what? were more or less the same. Yeah, it's very similar. I mean, he took a while to no, it's a one I think in you nine, see the uh, big one, though. It's a one in nine one way or the other. Wait, go. Oh, yeah. Here's the blitz. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Freeze the big gun, the yeah. big gun because it's movement five, so... Uh-huh. And he's red. And he's red, so, yeah, that has the guarantee the Geo Fire roll. Oh. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, he gets the pow. Need the big scatter. Uh, okay. oh, well, no score this turn. Oh, tragedy. If he, the ball had gone, you know, down, yeah, that yeah. would have been absolutely beautiful for a really, really slow score by uh, with a lot of GFIs by Mr. Throw. Uh -huh. Now, every single role Diomed has in the menu is absolutely terrible. Unfortunately for him. He can try to dodge one a big gun to try to you know add more protection to the ball, or to die without the block. Yeah. Ooh, that's a dodger. That's nice. Yeah, I, I think you just you got to take the hit on the blitz. I think it doesn't take the hit on the blitz. So interesting. Fair enough. I don't know. I think this is a bit too safe. We're so far behind. I think yeah, I, I think the hit on the Blitzer was uh, nearly a must. Yeah, yeah. Hey, vomit! No? Oh, no, just activation. Where's the vomit? Well, I haven't seen any vomit here. It's no. Like, oh, my God. Do you need to use the skills of your players? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And that gives him the blitz. Gets the pow. Doesn't scatter the ball. Wise move. Oh my god, Mr. Throw. Out for the rest of the game. I repeat, Mr. Throw won't act at all until the end of the game. Beautiful 1D pass. Push. I think that's a good, oh my god, the dodge, the rush. I, I, this is disgusting, this is uh, absolutely disgusting. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic with some uh, beautiful dice. It's it's pretty odd, to be fair. This is pretty decent. <laughs> a couple, yes, I mean, a couple of bigger crazy. dodges, so the big, oh, no, there we go. <laughs> Whew. It's not an absolutely crazy play, but it's been a lot of rolls there. And Threat that's me. it. Threat me. Congratulations. Jimmy, Thank you very much. 738ABE578 D7D968 wins the Blood Bowl Super League. Yay! <laughs> Won my own league, finally, yes! <laughs> finally. Congratulations, Jimmy. Commissary, Diomed. There were some crazy dice uh, in the last. 
Turns of the second uh, half. Well, throughout the game, to be honest. Yeah, throughout yeah. the game, yeah, yeah. I had good dice. I actually had the better of the dice. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. That the two times I had the better of the dice were, I oh, know, I guess against Inarian, but like with the semi in the final, right? So that was pretty good. That was pretty good timing. Pretty good timing to get the best dice. Whew. Thank you very much, Steve. And everybody else. Thanks. And, uh, thanks Congratulations, Jimmy, Jim, MD, 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 Jim, you know, I'm of the opinion that, like, you know, playing in the tournament and doing the commentary is a bit much. So, I think if I get to do the commentary, I'll do the commentary. So, um, and not and not into the tournament. But I mean, I don't know what the form of the tournament is. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I could do both. Like, Andy did both, didn't he? And they were quite happy with him doing both. So, like, it's pretty good general, taking part, or, isn't it? It is for fun. For the brand like, and for part. the content, is better that you are actually playing because. That adds another extra layer of engagement, mm. and that's why you have three guys in the commentators' uh, booth, yeah. so the other two can comment about the game, and that adds an extra layer of talking about that, and then having you there, something like that, so for content, is good. <laughs> for the competition, I don't see how it affects the competition one way or the other, if you play or not. Jimmy will break his hands just so he can't play. <laughs> And the main thing was I was thinking like, you know, if I if I am just going to do the commentary and not take part, then obviously I've got to decide like kind of now so that Diamed gets my ticket rather than just, you know, like a random person. So I'm going to have to talk to the TO basically and then, you know, what, you know, ask about the format and stuff and ask if I, you know, I'm going to do the commentary or if there's, you know, if there's a chance or whatever. I, yes. I, I just need to, to find to out. See things. how it works, what, what's... Was the situation and uh, all or, that because or see if I could have a delayed defer right if I could have a delayed defer to Diamed maybe maybe I could ask that right so that like I I I I could tentatively accept the ticket but then if I reject the ticket then Diamond gets it if I could do that that would be the right it's still a bit weird for Diamond though right because now he's yeah, gonna so like he's not know limbo, this going yeah. on or not. yeah yeah that's true that is so yeah. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll speak to the guy and see. I'll speak to the guy in charge and see what the crack is. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's an online tournament, if I'm right. Mm. It is. So it's not tabletop. No. no. No, so it's an online tournament. So there is a lot of things like that. So yes, for starters, I wouldn't accept the tickets right now until everything is very, very, very clear by the uh, people organizing the tournament and running the show. Yeah. Once yeah. you get that uh, very clear, you can accept or refuse the ticket. Yeah. When is the World Cup anyway? <laughs> it's not like next year? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think they know exactly when it is. But I think the, the deadline for qualifying competitions is like the 8th of September or something. And <laughs> then, <laughs> I, I, think, I think we call it uh, uh, infer mm. that, uh, yes, you have time. Yeah. Congratulations on winning a competition you created, set the rules for, and pick the people you played against. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and James, let's not forget, at the fourth try, at the fourth, at the fourth try. try yeah, yeah. But, you know, to be fair, I picked very, very good players, and the rules were Euro Bowl, um, apart from the limitations of the client not having inducements, right? So, uh, so you know, but uh, I'm still very proud of I thought that was a very good... Uh, I mean, obviously, I diced. I, yes, I wouldn't say I diced him. Nothing, I definitely had the better of the dice. <laughs> Would you? I think he played well. I, I think Diomed played well. But the dice, end of the day, will be, you know, a huge factor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the three goes to zero is a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, it's not. I know. I didn't feel like it was dicing, but I mean, I, I, hundred percent got the better dice. You know, like. By, by quite a bit, but it's just whether you'd call it a dicing. Like, mean, there's there's it's, no it's, doubt you've got the better dice. No doubt at all, it's, it's you know, a, of course. A meaningless conversation. Really, like, yes, like, exactly. It's just how you define a dicing. It's dicing or not. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, also, Teox, you wouldn't be so sure about the crack addicts on the side of the street. You don't know where you're going to find a Blood Bowl coach. You never know where you're going to find a Blood Bowl coach. <laughs> 
But yeah, it was. It was a bit ridiculous. No, there yeah, was an yeah, armor yeah, break. Yeah. There was at least two. There was at least two. Because I remember the first one, I thought, oh, God, I'm going to get cast. <laughs> so there was at least two AV breaks. Um, but not many. Uh, oh, no, there was one. <laughs> there was one AV break. Well, I lied. One armor, armor break, yes. I'm sure there was two. I'm literally sure there was two. I only remember one myself. <laughs> mm, okay. I personally only remember one, yes. But, uh, yeah. Because it happened in the second half, I think. So it was yes, five yes, AV yes. breaks to one. It's just my ratio of removals was was crazy, right? It was two. Because it was two cards. I mean, I mean, I mean five, five to one is a pretty is a pretty crazy ratio as well. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that, that's just because yeah. of the one, isn't it? And, and it being small. Like, it could have easily been five yes, stuns that, as well. That's what how I'm ratios work, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but what I mean is, like, five stuns wouldn't have been a big difference five five stuns to one stun isn't a big difference but two cas and two ko's to one stun is huge isn't it yeah oh yeah yeah that's the bigger ratio yeah <laughs> <laughs> shut up <Elliot. laughs> yeah. look i made i made two more blocks so that means it was completely deserved <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's actually it. That's actually yes. No, oh, man, I couldn't oh, believe man, that. All I had to do was. Sorry, yeah. sorry, can we see the GFI? Sorry, the rush. Yeah, rushes, every, everybody no worked 13 no out of 13. No one failed a uh, GFI wow. in the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Toe did dodges. fail his animosity, Look at though. The <laughs> did, yeah. yeah! 8 of 9 dodges for Jimmy, 8 to 11 oh. to. Uh, yeah, but that yeah, fail man. was a Kaz, wasn't it? One of the fails was a Kaz, which was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was very big. But there were yeah. some dodges with big guns, you know? So they're like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There were some four pluses. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was dead. Of, of course, I got the better look. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not, it's just whether you call it a dicing, like you know, like I, I you know, and that's it. That's just a personal thing. I mean, I, I personally have a high threshold for a for what I'd call a dicing. Then other people seem to get diced every single game, even though they have an eighty percent win rate. Well, hey, <laughs> um, so it just it just depends what you say. But yeah, I mean, I definitely. Well, well, I, I've heard about some people who were never lucky. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I, I always tell the truth, right? Of course, I was luckier that game. Of course, I was, right? Like by far. Of course, I was luckier by far. Of course, I was. I mean, no, I'm not gonna. Just, why would I lie about it? Of course, I was. Yeah, but, but I mean, this is this is academic anyway, right? Like, it's, it's besides the point, you know. Yeah, you, I still thought I played quite well. <laughs> I still yeah, thought yeah. I played quite well. Like, I don't think, feel like I played just definitely worse and got play, bailed out by the dice. But whereas, you know. Guinness like got really upset that I said he was lucky, and it's like, dude, you know, I'm I was lucky here. It's fine saying I'm lucky. Like it doesn't mean that I didn't play well, does it? I I I, I feel like I did I love play being well. Lucky. And I was lucky. And do you know what? That fucking blitzer. Like I nearly put him next to the troll, not only to activate the troll, but also just to hold the center. Because if you just hold the center, at all costs against orcs. You know, at least like a desperation move by the side down the, the side is easy blitzer. to cancel. Yeah. Yeah, and me and Frame, Frame we both liked him wider though. Yeah, but then, yep. but then he opened yep. up that play, didn't he? And then the the bloody the the hit with the troll. I thought maybe I just shouldn't activate him. But then yes. I thought if I don't yeah. activate him, then he can just knock down like one of those, and then he can you know he can do yeah. a blitz and do stuff. Because I thought I just need a push, and then I can double yeah. base him. And if I double base him, then it's then you know it's really good, isn't it? So ah, maybe I just shouldn't have activated him. Anyway, uh, orc team with troll vindicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the orc team with uh, two orc teams with a troll. One was last and one won it. <laughs> one first. So the, on, uh, average, on average, the is mid, of middle troll. of the table. <laughs> middle of the table. You know, it's fifty-fifty having the troll. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, yeah. That is that is definitely it. It is definitely the the troll is the troll is really flipping dicey, isn't it? And you know, obviously. It, well, I don't think it was the, really the troll that paid off. Like it could have done, couldn't it? Like the first half, it was pretty flipping good. To be fair, it didn't didn't mm. stupid at all, and it like it no. shut down a guard big and quite well at one point. Like it did some good things in the first half, and on defense, it did some good things until it stopped doing good things. <laughs> but that was my fault. Maybe I just shouldn't have activated it. Um, but um, there you go. I felt like it just a push was so good. I just felt like a push was so good that I thought it was worth the risk, but maybe it really wasn't. <laughs> um, anyway, right, that's that's it for the YouTubes. Um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, thank you, of course, Elliot and Fami. I'm sure you guys were absolutely the gold standard of commentary, the the best of commentators course, in the world. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> there was a massive conversation about goose and other animals that feel uh, around half of the stream. Brilliant. Yep. Honk. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, yep, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.